It was early on in my IT career when I learned the benefit of automation, of having a computer or a program do something, especially if it's repetitive, so a human doesn't have to do it, and and there's going to be less errors as long as the programming is correct. Now, with the world of SD-WAN, Software Defined Wide Area Networks, the Cisco, we have the ability for automating the initial configuration of an edge device or router. So what we could do is take an edge device, plug it in, it gets a DHCP assigned address, boots up, resolves the VBON server, and away it goes. We covered the VBON details in the previous video. In this video, I'd like to talk about the magic behind the scenes that allows us to have a pre-configuration waiting for that device through the use of a magical element called templates. And here's the magic of templates. Let's imagine we have three sites and we've got, uh, we've got perfect configurations on these three sites. In fact, maybe they're all using very similar configurations. We can create a template from that, which effectively has all those details for those sites. So when we bring up these devices, if they're associated with the template, if we modify the template, the system will say, oh, actually I should put it over here. vManager will say, oh, you know what? Uh, VEdge 20 and VEdge 30 and VEdge 10, uh, they're associated with this template. You just change the template. Let's go ahead and push that updated information out to all of them. So the benefit is if we have 50 or 100 sites, we can make one or two changes, verify those changes, and have the system push out all those changes where they're applicable. Another really great use of templates is this. Let's imagine that we want to bring a new device onto the network. So we have a new site, let's call it site 99. So we add site 99's chassis ID to the approved list. So vSmart, vManage, and vBond all know about the chassis identifier and the one-time password. And then we plug them in. Not only can we have this site, we'll call it uh, vEdge99. Not only can we have this edge device join the SD-WAN network, but we can also have a template associated with that device so that when it does check in, vManage says, hey, we've been waiting for you. Boom, here's your configuration. He would apply it. And then in the future, if we ever needed to tweak that, we could just tweak the template and that would automatically update the configuration here on that VEdge 99 device. And that's what you and I get to do in this video. So I'm gonna take a brand new VEdge device. The only changes I made to it was I applied a root certificate so that it can verify digital signatures. And I also specified the org name, but that is it. Everything else that's gonna be done to this device will be done via a template. And that way, when this new Edge device checks in, vManage will see it and say, oh, I've got a template associated with you, your identifier. Hold on a second, take it. <laughs> and it'll push down the config to that device and boom, it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and tell vManage and the management team, which in includes vSmart and also vBond, that we're expecting that vEdge99 to come into the party. So we're going to go to configuration down to devices. And we'll simply grab one of these entries that's not in use yet. This is from our list that I generated at Cisco's site. And let's go ahead and use this one 11.2b. It ends in 11.2b as a chassis ID. We'll click over here on the ellipses and click on generate bootstrap configuration. Click on OK. And then that's going to have the chassis that we're expecting and also the one-time password. We can close that because it also changes the icon right here. And that's the uh, chassis number that we're expecting. So this is the chassis number we'll use when we're onboarding that VEdge99 device. So with the root certificate installed and the org name set, Let's go ahead and specify what the chassis and one-time password is for this VEdge device. So we'll do a request, VEdge-Cloud, and then activate, and press Enter, and it's going to prompt us for the chassis number, and then also the one-time password. Let's go grab that. So here's our chassis number, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that entire chassis number, right-click, copy it, and we're going to paste that in. So we'll right-click and paste, and then we'll put in the one-time password. So we'll go back to vManage, and we'll make sure we can see all of it, grab it all. Right click, copy, and we'll paste this in as well. So with the right click and a paste, we are good to go. Let's do a show interface description. And what it's gonna do is, as soon as I, I do not have gigabit ethernet 00 plugged in yet. Before we have him come on board, we also need to associate a template with that chassis ID so that when he does check in, that vEdge can then be rained down upon by vManage with all of its configuration. Let's make sure we do that too before we bring up the vEdge device. So to do that, we're going to go to configuration and down to templates. Now I currently have some templates that are currently working. In fact, this one for VH site 20 is working. I'm just going to copy that template because I know it's all good to go. So to copy it, I'm going to click on the ellipsis over here and click on copy. And let's call this VH site 99. Click on copy. And then we'll attach this template to that soon to be added VH device. So to attach this, we can click on the ellipses click on attach devices. So we're going to attach this template to the 
device that will be joining our network. And we'll go ahead and do 2B. And there it is right there. So we'll highlight that, click it to bring it over, and click on Attach. Now, here's the problem, is that if you have one template and you apply it to multiple devices, uh, they're going to need some unique information, like unique IP addresses on their interfaces and so forth. So within these templates, there are variables that I have specified. So what we can do is when we attach it to a device, which we're about to see, we attach it to a device that's going to ask us, hey, regarding these variables, like IP addresses and stuff, what do you want them to be? And that gives us a chance to put in those, that data, like the next top IP address or the IP address on an interface, and associate it before it gets pushed out. Now we can also, instead of manually typing that in, we can also import that information from a CSV, like a spreadsheet file, so we don't have to manually put it in. But that's how the templates operate, by asking us for variables that are going to apply to the device they're about to be pushed out to. So to supply that additional information, what we do is simply click on the ellipses here, click on Edit Device Template, and we simply fill in the blanks. And I'll go ahead and fill in those details, which are going to be appropriate for our new VEdge Site 99. All right, so I have filled in the details regarding what I want pushed out to that device. We'll click on Update. We'll then click on Next. It also gives us a chance to preview the configuration that effectively will be pushed down to that device, that Edge device, once it checks in and joins the SD-WAN network. So here we can verify the details of the config from the CLI perspective for that config that will be pushed out. And then we'll click on Configure Devices. Now, what is the problem with this so far? Well, the problem is that device isn't online yet. So vManage is patient. It'll just wait. <laughs> like, uh, uh, is he here? Is he here? And once that vEdge device checks in, so he connects to vBond, vBond tells him where vManage is, vManage will say, yep, I know who you are, and here's your config. And then also that vEdge device will then check in with vSmart, run OMP, and figure out who all the IPsec buddies that guy needs to peer with, and boom, he's part of the SD-WAN network. So back in vManage, it says device is offline. We're just waiting for him to show up. Great. Let's go ahead and bring up a CLI. So here on the vEdge, we'll do a show interface description. And we are going to plug in. So right now, gig ethernet 00 is not plugged in. I'm going to plug it in right now. So let's give it just a few moments. Then we'll go back and look at it. My hands will never leave my arms and verify whether or not this guy not only onboarded, but also got his initial configuration pushed down from vManage and is now a full member of the SD-WAN, including running OMP with vSmart. All right, so it's been about uh, two minutes. Let me go into the up arrow key. And all right, so not quite there. So if we do a show control connections history, and we take a look at the history of the connections here, and we scroll to the right here, it has a state up, up, and then tear down. Then we have these messages, RX, TR, down, and sys IP change. And we can look up at the legend to see what those are. So if we scroll up a little bit here, sys IP change. So that's because I told it to in the template, I have a system IP assigned to it and it didn't have one previously. So that's changing, probably has to renegotiate some of those tunnels and uh, hopefully it'll come back up. So we'll do a show control connections. Ah, there we go. One connection for vSmart, one for vBond, one for vManage. And it's very likely if we have two WAN transports, which we do, we're likely to have two vSmart connections. All right, so it's not completely done. All right. But we do have our new name. There's vEdge99. If we do a show IP route, we have a whole bunch of routes, including a lot of OMP learned routes. Fantastic. And we also have outbound IPsec tunnels to everywhere we need to go on the SD-WAN. And we can verify that with show IPsec, if I can spell, and outbound connections. And these are all of our outbound IPsec tunnels that we currently have established to protect the traffic as it goes between VEdge devices. So in this video, our focus was the template. The template associated with that chassis ID allowed vManage when that chassis ID checked in and came online to get the configuration pushed down to it courtesy of templates associated with that chassis, with that Edge device. So hey, thanks for joining me in this set of videos regarding SD-WAN and I'll see you, my friend, in the next video. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through day